Yuki and Jujitsu Sensei Yoshi I'll never yawn until I die All the things I've learned Makiwara and Zaizen Are the blessings I'll teach you Join me each week as I train with different jiu-jitsu instructors and world champions. Two things are bound to happen. Number one, I will get submitted. And number two, both you and I will learn a thing or two. Rolling, 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 I'm Budo rolling, Jake, rolling, and this is Rolled Up. You know, one thing I like about your techniques is they're always unique and they're unexpected. You know, like the side control attacks that you showed today. People don't expect you to attack when you're yeah. stuck in side mm -hmm. control. Where does your creativity come from? Man, I, I think, of course, I have a good... Uh, I'm smart. Yeah. <laughs> I try to... I think a lot when I go to sleep. <laughs> I, I still think about jujitsu the whole day. Uh -huh. But I think my, my flexibility help a lot, a mm -hmm. lot. I think my body is very good for do jiu jitsu special for do when you play on the bottom, when you play uh, open guard. I think it's so effective because mm -hmm. I'm strong, I feel strong, and I never see one, one jiu jitsu guy more flexible than me. Mm -hmm. Ever since I first saw some of your world fights and your pride fights, you really inspired me because we're similar weight. You know, you're a little bit heavier than uh -huh. me, but similar height. And I'm not as flexible as you, but I'm more flexible than the average guy. Uh -huh. So I tried to take a lot of your techniques and incorporate well, thank, them thank. into my game. But I wonder, can everybody do that? Or do you have to have a certain amount of flexibility to do it? You have to let your sideburns grow or be like Elvis Presley. <laughs> 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 then the orange just grow up so fast. That's the key, huh? <laughs> I'm only <laughs> halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. If you have a flexibility, I will say again, if you have flexibility for do the, that kind of position, mm -hmm. for everybody, it's better. If you have a flexibility, it's going to be easy. Mm -hmm. And you have a good game. You, have a, you play on top, you play on the, on the bottom. And you have a good flexibility. Mm -hmm. If the guys have a good flexibility and, and smart, mm -hmm. you think fast, it's easy. Wow. Mount, mount, mount. Try to mount, try. I choose, I choose. What do you do if a guy comes to you and he's not flexible at all, but he wants to take your classes? Do you? No, 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 but I... I uh, many guys come to my academy and, and see, ah, I want to learn the flying bar, mm -hmm. flying reverse from a plot, because all my life I love to do this kind of movement. But Jiu Jitsu is not like this. Mm -hmm. I never teach my class this kind of movement. Mm, really? I, I teach only basic position, of course. When I do the, I, I separate my my student and beginners class and advanced class. When I do the, adv and I teach advanced class, 
Sometimes I teach the difficult position, mm -hmm. of course, but the 80% is basic, basic position because the Grace Jiu-Jitsu, I learned with Carlinhos Grace, my master, is a basic position. If you have a skill, if you have a ability for creating another style, the fly on a plata, mm -hmm. something like that, and then do it. But don't forget, because this is not Jiu-Jitsu, this is your, uh, how can I say, um, your skill, your ability. Mm -hmm. But Jiu-Jitsu is like, this is a basic. Uh, the guy's pass that side, here, put the hook, base position. I think, for you understand, I, I will give one example. The best guy in the world, for me, is uh, Roger Grace. Pass like this, he mount, he mount like this. He don't do the other side, no. He mount like this, one, one, two, Really, the basic, basic position. And then, the best way for learning Jiu-Jitsu is basic position. The best way for submitting to our opponents, I think, are learned like this with Carlinhos, Grace. It's basic things. So if the basics are truly the most effective way to, you know, to submit the other guy, why do you do Goba Platas and Oma Platas and all these more advanced things? And because uh, I'm a big fan of the surf, the Kelly Slater. You know Kelly Slater, the, the surfer guy. Surfer the, I like to uh, Ronaldinho Gaúcho, the football guy, uh, Kobe Bryant. The, and then I like to do the different thing. Mm -hmm. Because I think the base jiu-jitsu is, is too easy. Uh, it's, it's the best, so effective. When I train with, with tough guy, difficult for it to do the fly on plata, flying bar. Mm -hmm have to do the basic position, but I will be honest. If, if I have opportunity, I try to do some fly on plata, some reverse. So I love this. Is a, I love to do this. Whole my life, I train like the basic thing, but I love to do the, do the beautiful position. So if I'm hearing you correctly, you do all the fancy positions because they're fun? Yes, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel the same way. Cause I know I should just stick to the basics. I do it, but the same time I know mm -hmm. it's not really effective if I train with tough guy, if I fought with tough, tough, tough guy, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. I, everybody knows this. Right. And then I try to mix. If I have opportunity, do it, but never forget Jiu-Jitsu is really, really basic. Mm -hmm. And many guys today stand, put the, some position, oh, I create some. Difficult for create something mm -hmm. because in internet have a many position, have a thousand, a thousand position. Mm -hmm. But for you learn jiu jitsu, not about position. How can you switch the one position for the other position? This is a secret. Mm -hmm. Position everybody go the one uh, internet, go to computer and, and check them. Have a many position, but I think the best way for learn. How can you transition the one position for the other position? This is a secret mm -hmm. in Jiu Jitsu. Right. Let's talk about your pride fights, for example, for a, for a minute. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that have been watching old school pride fights know about your legendary fight with Sakuraba. You knocked him out. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't know that you became friends after that. Yeah, yeah. So can you talk about what happened after the fight with Sakuraba? Yeah, I fought to, with him two times. Mm -hmm. First time I fought when I was in in Greece and after when I was in shooter box. I, I snuck out him the first time. The second time I, I fought with him really good, but he won by points. And after that, he moved to Curitiba and training in Curitiba maybe almost six months. And I trained with him every day, almost every day. And it's so funny because many guys training and me and him trying to separate. Really? Yes, yeah, sometimes the Rafael Cordeiro and Rudimar let me and him train only grappling. Yeah? Uh -huh. Then I train with him uh, many, many times. He's a tough guy. He's, he's really tough guy. Did you teach him more or did he teach you more? Together. We, Together. He teach me a lot there because I, I, I ask him, I'm, I'm, I have an open mind. I don't, if I have a, some, some problem, some position, I ask him. I don't have, many guys don't have, I don't, don't wanna ask him, but I ask, I ask him a, a lot about the, 
Kimura? The Kimura position. Yeah. Do I help out your Kimura game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he has a much strong Kimura, man. Mm -hmm. Because I, 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 I did many drills with him when he, he still hold the Kimura and then start the train, not the real train. The, then it's, it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. he's, but he's he's really tough guy because it's uh, difficult for put him put his back on the man. Mm -hmm. He's a good Greco. Mm -hmm. It's not a good wrestling. Good, I think he go to the Greco and switch for Greco Romana. Mm -hmm. He's a good. Mm -hmm. What kind of things was he asking you about? A lot of of about the guard, about the but. He don't believe a lot with when I train the gi. Mm. He doesn't care about the gi. Yeah, yeah. He, he think he's not too effective for MMA. Mm -hmm. Many guys until two days don't believe about the gi. Mm -hmm. I, I don't agree with this. I, I think the best guys in the world, the most technical guys in the world, the Abu Dhabi or MMA, train with gi. Mm -hmm. I said again, Roger Grace, train with gi. Yeah. Don't have uh, the best example. Mm -hmm. One last question about Sakuraba. Please, please. What was your guy's relationship like off the mat? It's perfect. He paid me a lot uh, Brazilian barbecue. He's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Pay for me and my brother. Uh -huh. My brother liked him a lot. Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah. Rolling, rolling. <laughs> so, uh, tell me about your, your plans for your academy in you know, the next few years in America. Yeah, I, I have a plan to, I hope soon in the future, bring my, my brother for help me here. And I have a plan to open another academy with him next year, I hope so. And I try to go back to competition. And still work here every day. Have to work. No? Right. I don't have another way to make money. No? Nice. Well, thanks so much for the class today. And, you know, okay. appreciate it. If people so, want to uh, look you up online, what's your website? Okay. What is your website? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, please. Come on, man. NinoShembryBJJ.com. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, Join me each week as I train with different jiu-jitsu instructors and world champions. Two things are bound to happen. Number one, I will get submitted. And number two, both you and I will learn a thing or two. I'm Budo Jake, and this is Rolled Up.